Hey, we have here another integral. This one's from MIT 2020, problem 19. We have the integral from zero to one of the square root of one minus x squared dx. Okay, now there is a very quick way to do this, but I did almost this exact same problem not too long ago. It was just a slight variation. So I'm gonna do this a different way. I'm gonna use the trick substitution just so that I'm not repeating myself. For the trick substitution, you'll notice this isn't a good form for us to substitute for sine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call x equal to sine of t, and that's going to make dx equal to cosine t dt. Then we'll make the substitution. Updating our bounds for 1, we'll notice when sine, when t is pi over 2, sine of pi over 2 is 1, and then when sine is 0, x is 0. Then we're going to have the square root of 1 minus sine squared t, okay, and then our dx is just going to be this, cosine t dt. Well, one minus sine squared t is just going to be cosine squared t. Okay, so we'll take the square root. Now we're going to have, for that square root value, we're going to end up with, we'll have an absolute value sign at first on our cosine. But I'm going to remove this absolute value, and that's because, you notice our bounds are just the first quadrant. Well, in that quadrant, cosine's always going to be positive, and therefore we don't need this right here. Okay, so this is just going to be, we're just integrating this thing, which is going to be cosine squared of t. Well, for this, I'm going to rewrite it, and I'm going to use the double angle formula. So for cosine squared of t, we're going to have 1 half plus 1 half cosine of 2t dt. Then we'll just integrate this real quick. Integral of 1 half is going to be 1 half t. Integral here of this thing, we're going to have 1 half. The integral of cosine of 2t is going to be sine 2t, but then because of this 2, we need to bring a half out front and evaluate this from zero to pi over two. So now evaluating these bounds, plugging in pi over two, we're gonna have pi over four here, plus one fourth sine, pi over two times two is just gonna be pi. Okay, and for this next part, we plug a zero in here, that's just gonna be zero. Then we plug in a zero for sine, one fourth sine of zero, but this whole thing is just gonna be zero, but sine of zero is zero. Coming back here, sine of pi, that's also zero. So this is gonna clean up really nice. All we have left is this piece. And so our final answer is just gonna be pi over four. Okay, and before we finish this off, I just wanna mention that other method that I did previously. The method I used before was just graphing this. The graph of this square root of one minus x squared is just the top half of a unit circle. Okay, right, like just noticing if you plug a one in here, you get zero. So this is just half of our unit circle. You notice with the area formula for a circle, if the radius is just one, then the area is pi. So the area of this half circle would be pi over two, but we don't actually want that because our, our bounds are zero to one. Okay, so we actually just want this. So we just have a quarter of a circle. Well, if the unit circle is pi, and we just want a quarter of that, we get our solution pi over four. That's it, thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day.